<laughs> Do some cute stuff for the vlog. Somebody's having a bad day because they fell down and busted their lip open. Yeah. Oh, there's not even any blood. I think it's on the inside gums. Furry, it's like a kitty, huh? It's like a kitty. It's a yeah. dead cat wind muff. Pretty good. I didn't fall down and bust my lip open. It looked much worse in the photo. Yeah, I don't know where all the blood went. We're on a movie. Your lip looks healed. It doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, you can't play with you can't play with the camera. She's like, well, it's like a kitty cat tail. It does. How about this blanket? Yeah, that's where we're gonna do our cooking show later on tonight. Even though cooking show probably wasn't a hit the other night, we don't have a lot of vlog content, so we're gonna do a cooking show. That's how you do it. No, 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 no. I need like normal person beer. Yeah. Delicious. Hooray! No There's a product placement. Well, Shameless what? plug. The uh, original snake bite. They do look delicious. Ready, Agnes? Shake, 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 Yeah. Pretty sure this ketchup was left out overnight, but we're gonna eat it anyway. I like your noodles. Are they delicious? Where to begin? Where to begin? Ooh, two cheeses? What? This is a, this is a big slider. Is this still on me? Here's in my napkin. Yeah, noodle? What did you put on those noodles? Butter, herbs de Provence. Ah, herbs de Provence. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, it's Stravinsky's right spray, but it's in Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on opening that, it's a ballet where they're attempting to uh, dance themselves to death to appease the gods. And on opening night, there was a riot because it wasn't the kind of ballet that people wanted to see at the time. Hmm. So apparently it's against the rules to <laughs> sort of repeat an interesting conversation for the camera. Sorry, 
Dance yourself to death, baby. Yeah, I'll eat my What are you doing? Making fun of you. I, because you're neglecting your your duties to go put the baby down? No, because we have an awesome <laughs> stereo system with awesome music, and Katie always turns it down to the level where it's just background noise. Damn it! <laughs> Yeah, we're listening to a little Stravinsky. We turned it back up because the mom is in the kitchen doing the dishes. Stop messing with my stereo. Agnes and I are going for a quick walk around the block. Everybody's getting all bent out of shape about these Bartlett pears. I don't know if this is one here, but maybe it is. Who knows? I'll uh, look up some information. Apparently they crossbreed with regular pear trees and make briary thickets and other nasty stuff and they're not good trees. Okay, apparently it's not a Bartlett pear. Those are delicious to eat. It's a Bradford pear. And it looks like that first tree that we saw wasn't a Bradford pear. Maybe that was a Bartlett pear. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this one's a Bartlett pear. Again, I'm not a botanist. We'll look it up on Wikipedia when we get back. They did say something about branches splitting and falling off, so maybe that's a, a telltale sign. I don't think that previous thing was a Bartlett pear. Okay, apparently it wasn't a Bartlett pear, and I don't think the first one we looked at was a Bartlett pear. Well, definitely wasn't a Bartlett pear, but the uh, thing we're looking for is Bradford pear. Those are the nasty trees that split and fall on your car and cross-pollinate with other pear trees and reproduce in great numbers, taking over the forests and choking out other beneficial plants. Don't plant Bradford pears. Yeah, turn the volume up. <laughs> 